Excuse me if there's some background noise, I'm in the women's room. In this box we have a right-hand drive GS300 or I don't know actually, actually it could be of GS350 or 400 or 450 or whatever. Basically the power steering ECU. Let's open it up and check it out. So it says uh, Lexus GS2007, my car is 2005, so first thing, let's hope that's not a, not a thing that uh, could uh, derail my attempt of using it on a left-hand drive car. But um, what I saw from the internet is that pretty much uh, I have no idea if the electronic part and the programming has any differences, but this is identical to the left-hand drive module. Only difference is the placement of um, these tabs, which most likely attach it to the car. This one. Uh, is there any more? No, just this one. So this should be the only difference. The plugs are the same on the same side. Uh, and uh, other than that, looks identical with the left-hand drive one. Uh, like I said, uh, let's start off with, I have no idea if this is the issue that the car has for the power steering to only function in the cold weather. Uh, and I have uh, no idea if, if the programming uh, and the electronic part inside is the same. But this was cheap, 20 pounds, so I reckoned I will just try to change the lead uh, of the one, the left hand uh, drive one that I have on my car uh, with uh, uh, take the lead of the left hand drive one and put it on this right hand drive one and see what happens. Maybe it fixes my power steering issue. So this is yeah, this is the idea that I had and uh, let's see what happens. I'm gonna try to open this up and see. Uh, whether the changing of the lead itself is uh, simple. Well, this is uh, promising to begin with. As you see, this is literally the only difference as far as the physical differences go between the left-hand drive and the right-hand drive power steering ECU. So now I gotta go and pluck it out from the car and compare them side by side and see maybe maybe just maybe i can get away with just changing the lead on the left hand drive power steering module mm, uh, sorry changing the lead on the right hand uh, drive uh, power steering module to the left hand drive one and just plopping in the right hand drive cars power steering ecu and i'll be good to go but uh, yeah uh, early to cheer but the beginning is at least somewhat promising. Bird shit is supposed to be good luck, but let's see. I haven't started this car in a week. More than a week, two weeks, I don't even remember. Hmm, fires up nicely. When the weather was cold, then uh, power steering was at least uh, working on the initial startup, but now it's not working at all. Just go out a little. Yeah, it's locked as hell. So let's see, maybe I can solve this. ECU is supposed to be under the battery. And uh, what they also said in, a, in the technical inspection is that the battery is not attached to anything. Oh yeah, do you see? Someone has just neglected to attach it. Well, I mean, not hard to fix, I guess. Very annoying battery, no go handle. But look at this. Could this be any easier? Well, thank you, Lexus. And now let's try to get it out. Since I managed to start hitting my life whilst doing this, uh, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate how, how does this ECU come off. So this, you just have to pry open with a small head, flat head. You just have to pull this tab out. So this other side, this connector, you put in a larger flat head and you just twist it like this and it will come loose and this last one whatever this is is just size 10 bolt 
so you just have to bolt it out yeah it took me longer way longer than it should but uh, yeah I got it now the ECU this is the one I just pulled out of my car this is the right hand drive one as and as you can see clearly this is like externally the only difference is where this tab is and this tab is it's on the other side but uh, let me get this open and let's see what are if there are any differences inside just uh, by looking at the boards i mean there's no difference whatsoever literally it's just uh, just uh, the lid itself i'm just looking at the part numbers and uh, this is uh, 30624 30630 but if you look at the chips and everything these are like uh, identical uh, look how crusty this uh, Estonian one is it's crusty as hell uh, just out of pure interest I'm gonna open up the crusty one from the bottom and let's see what goes on in the crusty bottom it will make sense if I don't make it dirty from this side <laughs> maybe I'm gonna still need it if I broke break something on the other side I was trying to break this open then uh, it's kind of stupid I got my fingers crossed that there's some water in it and this is the whole issue I genuinely hope I'm not breaking anything <laughs> I have no idea whether or not I'm gonna need this hope to you I hope it's stuck due to corrosion not that it's still attached with something and this feels like I'm doing something wrong but I'm breaking it so I'm not gonna waste my time on it right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the leads and uh, let's see what happens so this is the left hand drive power steering issue this is the right hand drive power steering issue uh, yeah I tried to pry open this crusty bottom but I couldn't so we just leave it at that I just gave it a little clean uh, gave the left hand lead a little clean and uh, i'm gonna pretty much put it all back together you see so this is this is the, all the difference and obviously as you can see uh, maybe i could just rotate it no it doesn't work well here yeah. uh, who gives but uh, i think uh, now we have a left hand drive right hand drive the ECU I'm just gonna use the prettiest bolts that we have here just to put it back together torque is just enough to for it to be shut and someone said that uh, this uh, EGR cleaner should do good for contacts I have no idea but let's give it a little whirl I guess noise now it's all over me and all over the desk it smells like petrol should it done I know it evaporates quickly I don't know things won't be any any worse anyway so and it smells nice I just hope I didn't mess everything up now or mess anything up even further more and yeah let's go try to plop it into the car I'm just gonna wipe off the excess cleaner since the mass airflow cleaner was supposed to be good for the connections I'm gonna give the connections a little whiff of the mass airflow cleaner and uh, and put everything back together uh, just to test it out this is now the right hand drive ECU with the left hand drive ECU lead connectors attached this ground two or whatever this is and let's put the battery on it and see what goes everything's buttoned up and back in its place let's see if it made any difference before seeing the old ECU I had 1% faith in uh, it making any difference and now I have 5% faith that it made any difference because the old issue was corroded from 
from the bottom, so who knows? Maybe it doesn't work at all. So let's see, see what happens. Ah, uh, yeah, go figure. Okay, I have one other idea. I'll do the power steering restart and let's see what happens. Yeah, it made no difference whatsoever, but we did find out that the left hand drive ECU and the right hand drive ECU of the power steering are completely the same thing, just the lid is different. But what we will do with this knowledge, I don't know. No use to us today. So uh, this happened. I mean, whatever. <laughs> it won't be any worse. <laughs> no, no, will it? Well, this is a steering rack of uh, JDM Lexus GS 430, 450. I don't know. Anyhow, the V8 version, not the hybrid one. And uh, yeah, we are trying to quite possibly resurrect this car from uh, its current situation. So I'm taking it to the mechanics to see if there's any way to make a right hand drive working steering rack and left hand drive broken steering rack into one working left hand drive steering rack. <laughs> 